You and I have decades of experience at watching price discovery within the initial public offering process. Is this a dose of arrogance and something new and different that we're seeing where the tech world just says we're not going to discover price? Well, I think if you go back, uh, it's not actually a new development. It, companies like Google experimented with... Exactly. It's Google equivalency. Exactly. It really is. And I think there is no perfect way to go to, to go public. <clears throat> what what Spotify is trying to do is save a bunch of money um, and solve a bunch of its internal problems um, by by creating. But an is exit. it a public company? There's such control of the dominant founders and institutional venture capital types, angel investors, if you will, of Spotify. It's really not a public company, even compared to the initial Google effort. Yeah, that, you're raising a really interesting point. So over the last roughly um, 15 years, there has been a structural change in the way that startups yeah. that are successful actually build their business. It used to be that it was typical for a startup, once it got to the point where its valuation was right. approaching a billion dollars, to us automatically IPO. Right. And now what's happened is because there's so much private capital, it's actually cheaper and more expedient for these companies to stay private a lot longer. That makes their eventual public offering a much more high stakes and complex process, but you can see why they're doing it. Years ago, folks, I used to sit with a credenza full of what were called red herrings. These are physical documents, pre-internet, and I would read them, and as you know, you start from the back and read forward to see who the people are involved. In all those red herrings, I never saw the phrase, we want to imagine the long term. What in God's name does that mean, Mr. Masters, that Spotify wants to imagine the long term? Well, I think that there, some of it is hype. But there is actually some vision around this, too. Because to get away from the financial engineering. Of yeah, and the reason why is um, that many of these companies are really in the data and information yeah. business. And that is getting architected today. It will look different 10 years from now yeah. than it does today. And the companies that survive are going to be those that actually anticipate some of those changes. 